Welcome back to AC News. I'm Jack Ward. Yes, this is Jack. He's in year 10. But as you can see, he's also an experienced television producer, presenter and all-round news enthusiast. Welcome back to AC News. I'm Jack Ward. We cover school, local news and sometimes national news. Um, we try and get content that's curated to our local audience. So if there's a national story that's going to interest or even international interest our audience, then we'll work on that as well. Jack goes to school in Ararat in regional Victoria. There is a local newspaper there, but the town doesn't have its own local TV news bulletin. So that's where this team comes in. Jack had the idea of creating a newsroom within his high school to give keen young reporters the opportunity to fill the news gap and get experience. And luckily, his school thought it was an awesome idea. We've had um, AC News uh, up and running since 2017. Um, at the start of 2017 we launched it and since then it's just grown, um, our numbers are grown. The students are super passionate about bringing people the news. And by all accounts, they're doing a really great job. They've even managed to break some big local stories. Um, just recently we covered a story of the Ararat Eagles who were at crisis point, they were having a crisis meeting and the club was going to fold. Um, and one of our media teachers here was involved with the club and suggested we do a story on it. So we broke the news of the crisis meeting, which was kind of a shock to the community because not everyone expects that sort of thing. Is this the uh, school cat? Yeah. yeah. Well, Jack, I think the big news story here is how this newsroom has a cat. But moving on. AC News now has its own news site, which gives more students the opportunity to get involved. We launched our website at the start of this year, which has kind of broadened into writing as well, which has been really exciting and allowed for more people to be involved because not everyone wants to be in front of a camera and would rather be behind the keyboard. So now there's just lots of different areas going on and um, every, like, lots of students getting involved. Jack says even though it's fun, making a bulletin isn't an easy job. Yeah, you're telling me. These students take it really seriously, working at lunchtime and sometimes even pulling late shift when there's big news going down, just like pro journalists. In fact, that's what some of these students are hoping to be in the future, and I reckon they're on the right track. Going down the media path now, um, one of my friends, you know, she's looking at going into film and TV and I'm going to be heading to Channel 9 for work experience, which is really exciting. So yeah, it's creating a lot of opportunities for young people as well, which is really exciting for the future. That ends this AC News Bulletin. I'll see you next time. I'm off to rock and roll.